Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make this really easy crossbody bag. Okay, so you'll need 700 grams of t-shirt yarn in your choice of colour, a darning needle, an 8mm crochet hook, scissors, and then bag hardware. So I've got a chain, I've got a lock, and then I've got some D-rings. So I'll put the um, more information in the description box down below. Okay, so to start the bag, we're going to start off with a slip knot. So the easiest way I find to teach how to do a slip knot is if you have the end of your yarn in your left hand, we're going to leave a tail of a couple of inches and you're going to wrap the yarn around your index finger twice. So you've got two loops. You're going to take the left loop and pull it over it does get a bit fiddly so you're going to take left loop pull it over the second whilst keeping it on your index finger then you're going to take this loop which is now the left loop and pull it pull it over that loop and over your finger so now it's like this and you're going to take the long bit of yarn and pull it to tighten so now you've got your slip knot we're going to insert our hook and we're going to start chaining. So we're going to chain 16 or up until you've reached 20 centimeters. So to do a chain, you're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and keep repeating that. Okay, so I've now got 16 chains, and if I get my measuring tape, it should measure 20 centimeters or roughly 20 centimeters, doesn't need to be exact. So, yeah, it's about 20 centimeters. So now you're going to chain one, and we're going to do single crochets in the second chain from the hook. So this is the first chain and we're going to go into the second. So to do a single crochet, you're going to insert your hook, yarn over and pull through. So you've got two loops on the hook, yarn over again, pull through both those loops. And you're just going to repeat that in each of these stitches all the way down. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over again and pull through. And just keep repeating that until you reach the end. It should look something like this. So it may not look perfect right now, but it's just our first row. So if you're unsure, if you've got enough stitches, you're always going to have 16 going along. So you can just count these Vs. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And that's the last one. If you're unsure, you can always put a stitch marker just so you know where you're starting and stopping. And that'll make it easier. And we're going to just keep repeating this for the entire length of the bag. So that stitch is the only stitch we're going to be using on this bag. So we're now going to repeat that. So each time you get to the end... We're going to chain one and we're just going to flip it. So you'll flip it to the left and then on each row, so it's going to be exact same on every row we're doing now, skip this first stitch and go into the second and again yarn, uh, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, we're just doing a single crochet and do this until you reach the end. Just keep repeating that all the way down and you should end with 16 stitches again. I recommend counting each row just so you know that you're always ending up with 16 because you want to make sure this bag is going to be straight on each side. We've done the second row. Now 
for the third, exactly the same, and it's going to just keep repeating this. Chain one, turn your work, insert your hook into the second chain, so pretty much second hole. And again, do single crochets along, and you're just going to keep repeating this. Okay, so I ended up doing 31 rows of single crochet. So that measures approximately 40 centimeters. On the last row, we are going to make a space for the lock to go into. So we're going to chain one, turn your work. We're going to single crochet up until the seventh one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now to make the hole for the lock, we are going to chain two. One, two. Skip that stitch and go into the next stitch. So we're skipping one stitch, going into the following stitch and just continue to single crochet. And then single crochet to the end. Okay, so now we are going to single crochet around the whole edge. So it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just going to chain one and then wherever you see a gap, you're just going to single crochet into it. So I'll single crochet here, 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 here. You can pretty much see where you'd single crochet, but it doesn't have to be perfect. And you don't need to stress about it. So we're just going to single crochet all around um once you've completed the first edge so this first long edge um i'll show you what to do in the corner because it's just a little bit different in the corner just to make sure it rounds off properly so i'll show you that when i get to it okay so you can already see the difference in the neatness so this is the first side i've just done this is the side i haven't done yet so you can just see it makes it much more smoother so i've reached the corner so the first corner you're going to single crochet twice into the same stitch so we'll single crochet then single crochet again back in there and then we will chain one and then go back in that stitch another two times and this just rounds off the corner so again single crochet and then one more in this stitch And now you can see this corner is nice and rounded instead of just being a sharp edge. And then continue to crochet along in each stitch and then repeat the exact same thing in this corner and then repeat the exact same thing on this side. And then when you reach this third corner, stop there and I'll show you what to do next. I have single crocheted around three edges so the first edge, the shorter edge, and then the third edge. Here, we don't need to single crochet along this edge because it's already neat from doing our single crochets on our last row where we added the hole. Um, so now all you're gonna do is fasten off. So you're just going to yarn over, pull through, and then cut your yarn, leaving about seven or eight inches and pull your yarn and pull it to tighten the knot so now what we're going to do we've created our bag so it will end up looking something like this and we are just going to do the edges and then we will add the detailing so the hardware detailing 
and then you'll be done. You want to work out what your neatest side is. They're both exactly the same, but you're always going to have one side that you prefer more. So for me, my neatest side is the one that's face down. And whatever your neatest side is, make sure it's face down. And then the side that you don't want showing, have it face up. And we're just going to work out how big we want the bag to be. So how big the flap is going to be when it goes over. So do you want the bag, the flap to be shorter? If so, then you're going to have more room. So it's going to be deeper. If you want the flap to go over all the way, then just know that your bag is going to be a bit more smaller. So I'm going to have my bag go over, probably have it the flap be about halfway. So I've got the flap covering about one, two, three, four, five, six, about six rows under here. So you're going to fold it over. I'll let you know what that is in centimetres. So that will be up until there. So I'm going to have mine fold over roughly nine centimetres. So it'll be nine centimetres and the bottom flap. So that's for the top flap where the lock will go. The bottom flap is folded up. That one is folded up 14 centimetres. So make sure your bottom flap is folded up 14 centimetres roughly because this is how big we're going to do the sides. So you can see the sides are folded up, which means we're going to want to do the sides 14 centimetres and then we'll do the sides roughly. Let's have a look. We'll do the sides roughly five centimeters so that'll be our next step okay so i've done one side completely finished and i will show you how to do the next side so we are going to grab our yarn and our hook and we are going to do a slip stitch a slip knot sorry and then we are going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Chain an extra stitch. And then we are going to single crochet into the second chain from hook. So we are going to single crochet in here. and single crochet all down. Chain one and turn, and again, single crochet all along. And you're going to repeat this. Okay, so I've done my nine rows. On our final row, row 10, we're going to, we've chained one, turn your work. We're going to single crochet into the next stitch and then we're going to grab our d-ring you're going to put it over your hook so now it's just on your hook insert your hook and crochet so yarn over pull through this time make sure you pull through the ring too and then yarn over and pull through both of those loops and then we are going to repeat that in the next stitch so again put your hook through the ring, insert your hook, crochet as normal, making sure to pull it through. So you've got your two loops on the hook and pull through. And then, so, so we've done that twice, and then you're just going to crochet again as normal. And then in the final stitch, So it should look something like this. And now we're going to attach it to our bag. So on the, the right side, I started from the front 
and went around. On this back side, I'm going to start from the back. So I'm going to start from the back and then go around to the front. So what we're going to do is you want to line it up roughly so you know where you're starting. So we'll line it up. And then you can see also on the first stitch, you can see where we've put it here. Go along just to make sure it's equal. And then we'll start it here. So you're going to get your side. We're going to do a slip stitch around. So you want to have your working yarn behind you behind the hook, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through and we're going to repeat that all around. Next stitch, we're going to insert your hook, it doesn't have to be perfect along here, so just insert it wherever you see fit and then slip stitch again in the next stitch and we're pretty much sewing the two sides together apart from we're just doing it with our crochet hook so you go through the side and you go through the bag itself and just keep attaching it and then the last bit which is the last end we're going to continue okay so you want to make sure that the corners are matching up and then you'll just do your last slip stitch into the corner and then fasten off so fasten off yarn over pull through and then cut your yarn and pull tight and now you've got both sides attached. And then what you want to do is just weave in your ends. All we need to do now is add the lock and the chain, and then we'll be done. Okay, so I have attached the hardware. So everything, every um, hardware is different. So this one, I had to screw on the top part and then the bottom part were little metal bars that you push down and you just want to make sure that when you turn the flap over that they both are uh, even and they both match up and then just add those and now all we need to do is add the chain so for the chain I do have a gold chain here. You can leave it as it is and just clip it on to the D rings. Or what I normally do is I'll weave in and out with my yarn just to make it all tie in a bit more. So I'll show you how to do that now. To add the yarn to the chain, I have actually had to cut my yarn in half just because it wouldn't fit through the chain. So what we're going to do is, as you can see here, I've already started. You're literally just going to weave in and out of each of the chains and just do this all the way down until you reach the end. And then when you get to the end, just tie a knot around the uh, biggest link and then you can attach your um, chain to the bag. Okay, so I've added the white yarn into the chain. 
and all we need to do now is attach the chain to each of the rings and then we are done.